is going on everyone is we're back again with another video in today's video we're going to be talking about the astros now obviously this team just came off a recent world series in 2022 going into 2023 kind of fell short to the now world series champions the rangers so obviously this team had a great season i thought in 2023 obviously win that division beat the twins in the first round of the playoffs which was kind of close for a little bit as one one a little bit and then they went back to houston they kind of took care of business and that rangers series was really close they played incredible at global i field, but just could not win at minute Maid park at all which was really weird i really thought when they were going back home three two up you know i really thought they'd close the door finish it out but man that just did not happen so we're gonna have to regroup and find a way to kind of beat this ranger squad next year because i imagine both those teams will be back in the playoffs and they did have some awards this season obviously kyle tucker had a civil slugger award which i think is very well deserved and dubon had a gold glove award so some solid awards right there. Pretty good season for him in 2023. So moving into 2024 now, I think there's a lot of questions on this team. They obviously made a good amount of moves, I think, in the, uh, this offseason. They did pick up Josh Hader pretty recently with a pretty decent contract. I think it was like $105 million for like, I think, four or five years. I'm not totally sure, but it was a decent amount of money. Which I think that's the most paid closing pitcher or relief pitcher or something like that, at least with a good contract. He's in that 30 age season, so it's going to be his like seventh year in the league. So yeah, probably going to be his last contract. And obviously pretty recently, a uh, Jose Altuve got his contract extended pretty well into the future. I think until 2030, I'm pretty sure. So he's going to be up with this team for the rest of his career as well. Obviously, Jose Altuve is probably their best player. He's played 13 years in the league, all with Houston. And he's already in his age 34 season. So he's probably going to retire in Astro, which makes sense. I probably would like to argue he's probably their best player in franchise history, just based off the winning and how good he's been in the postseason. But that's another debate for another time. Let's look at these contracts for this 2024 season. Starting with the Jose Altuve one, obviously he's making 29 mil. The rest of his extension is not put in baseball reference just yet there are some contracts that are going to be like this i think the josh Hader contract is not in here as well so we still got jordan alvarez for until 2028 which he's gonna be locked up for a while bregman is another fridge and after this season currently making 30 mil so that's a lot of money right there obviously justin verlander still on the squad for their season and then he's got the vesting option for 2025 so have lance mccullers on contract so have rafe montero on contract you still have javier christian javier jose abreu still have grayman presley and caratini on contract and then obviously josh Hader. this team's got a good amount of players on contract if we take a look at their arbitration situation, obviously some of these top guys are going to be paying, like obviously Kyle Tucker and Valdez, one of their top players. And then the list kind of goes from here all the way down. So if we take a look at their financial situation, currently it's $172.8 million. Then with all the arbitration fees and everything else like that, be around 216.5. Then you've got to add in the hater contract, which is going to add like another, what, like 20 or whatever he's making this season. So it's probably like, what, 230 to 240, I would say, for this season, which is a pretty good amount of money. But like I said, again, this team's expected to get back to the playoffs. I think. I mean, this team's, you know, good. Like, you know, it's not really a surprise. But the thing that did surprise me about the Astros is they actually don't have a single player on the top 100. I mean, obviously, you know, with the whole cheating scandal, what happened, they got, didn't have their first two round picks for a couple seasons. So obviously, that's why they're lacking in the prospects department. So we can kind of just go through it right now because there's only a couple guys that I really think are going to be on this team probably in 2024. But they do have a lot of talent in AAA. So it'll be very interesting to see that as well. So we're just going to cover their first five prospects on their ranking in general. So number one, is Jacob Melton. He's currently in double A right now. Drafted 2022 in the second round, the 64th pick by the Astros. His ETA is 2025. So in the last couple of seasons, you guys can see right here, at least, you know, he's played okay. 250 hitter, not horrible, but it's not really incredible either. And he played a lot of games. So it'll be interesting to see how he's going to do moving forward, but it's really not a lot to really go off of and how good he's actually been. Looks like he played a little bit better in double A, which is kind of interesting. So who knows how his future is going to go. I imagine he's going to be at spring training, but we'll wait and see. Maybe He'll play in that spring breakout. This is their number one prospect in their system, so we're gonna see how this goes. Their number two player in their system is Lewis Baez, outfielder currently in A ball right now. He got signed January 15th, 2022. His current ETA is 2027. And in 2023, he played pretty good in rookie ball when he was there for 17 games, went over to A ball, played slightly worse in 41 games there. So, you know, not crazy, you know, good, but not crazy bad. So, I don't know. This kid, once again, we're gonna have to see, wait and see on him. He's only 20 years old, so he's definitely got a lot of time to develop for his will be ready but yeah we're gonna wait and see how he goes in the future so their number three prospect is spencer Arigetti. i'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce that one he's currently right-handed pitcher in triple a currently got drafted in 2021 in the sixth round the 178th pick he's currently estimated for 2024 so last season in in double a and triple a he pitched okay he had a 4.64 
in AAA and a 4.15 ERA in AA. So not crazy good on his ERA. Definitely had a decent amount of strikeouts with the innings pitch. So it's not horrible, I think. Definitely probably more of a ground ball kind of out guy. So he estimated for this year. We'll see how he does in spring training because I imagine he's going to be there. But another interesting prospect right here. So the number fourth prospect is Bryce Matthews, shortstop and currently an A ball. You guys should probably know him from the 2023 draft. He was the first round pick for the Astros, 28th overall. He's got a 2026 ETA right now. But honestly, he didn't really play good like in the minors at all. He had two games in rookie ball, didn't get one hit really. And then he went to A ball, 33 games in A ball, batted 217. So not really the greatest stats from him. So we're gonna have to wait and see how he's gonna develop because right now it's not really going solid for him. He should have a good amount of time. And since he's a first round draft pick, they're obviously gonna work with him. So yeah, maybe he'll come back really good in 2024. Just gotta wait and see. And the last pick we're gonna cover, he's currently number five in the Astros system, Zach Dienzo. Pretty sure it's how pronounce his name. Currently a third baseman, second mate baseman in double A. He was drafted in 2022 in the 12th round. So 373 on that pick estimated for 2025. And he had a killer start to this season in high A played 31 games, but at 407, which is unbelievable in single A. I mean, that's insane from that many amount of games. I'm sorry, he really consistent in single A moved him up to double A 63 games are batted 257. So definitely a little bit down from that side, but definitely a solid player, I think, and definitely could be really strong going into this next season, especially him being a low draft pick. I think he's got a decent amount of pressure to prove himself just because, you know, that's how it works in the system if you're a high draft pick they kind of just bring you through the system and you kind of get to the league if you're a low draft pick you got to play good so we'll see he's able to bounce back in double a you know coming up this season but definitely i think he's going to be a good player those are their first five players in their system right now currently because they just don't have anyone in the top 100 and the 2024 top 30 isn't available right now so we're going off 2023 but those are their guys they could be looking at to call up in in the near future and i don't really think we have to look at this team's depth depth chart we know the astros we know they're a good squad so we're expecting a lot i think in 2024 i think pretty much everyone would have this team in the postseason i think that's pretty standard at this point for this team they haven't missed the postseason since 2016 so i'm not really expecting them to really miss it this season so yeah gonna be interesting for this squad moving forward i know a lot of people don't like this team just the whole cheating you know accusations in 2017 and then you know 2022 everyone wanted the phillies to win so i understand that but looking at this team objectively they're going to be good and they're going to be back in the playoffs and they might destroy your favorite team so wait and see on how good this team does i think they do win the division i've talked about this in the rangers video but i do think the astros probably win the division but it's so up in the air to tell it's going to be a good race all season long and i'm excited to watch it so let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below what do you guys think who is your division winner and where do you think this team's going to be headed but that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys like comment subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one peace out everyone